Hi, I'm Shelly Young, owner of The Chopping Block, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a thick and chewy gingerbread cookie. Uh, these cookies are really one of my favorites. They have a just a little bit of uh, crisp on the outside and a nice chew on the inside. Really flavorful, really spicy, and perfect for the holidays. So in my food processor, I've started with three cups of all-purpose white flour. There's one tablespoon of dry ginger, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, a three-fourths of a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of ground clove, and a little bit of salt. Unsalted butter is our next ingredient. We like to use unsalted butter. Then we can control the salt we put in here. This is 12 tablespoons. And three-fourths of a cup of dark brown sugar. Uh, dark brown sugar, it's just got a little more molasses in it than the light brown sugar. If all you have is light brown sugar, that's fine too. So I'm gonna start by pulsing this until it turns into a fine meal. You can see it's kind of a mealy texture. The butter's in fine pieces in there. It smells, oh, you can smell the cinnamon and spices. It smells delicious. Two tablespoons of milk. I just drizzle that around this way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the lid of the food processor and drizzle in three-fourths of a cup of molasses. I've oiled the container that the molasses was in. Tries, it helps a little bit in getting the molasses out. Here's our cookie dough. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put this out onto a piece of parchment paper. I'm going to chill it for, um, you can chill it for 24 hours. Might be a little easier to roll if you do that, but you can also just put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes and try to get a chill on it so it's easier to roll. And the thing about gingerbread is it is a dark cookie. So you need a little bit of flour to roll it out, but we want to minimize the amount of flour that we use so that your cookie doesn't look white. Um, so I'm a little cautious with that, but I'll put this down. Some people use cocoa. Uh, since there's no cocoa in here, it, to me it doesn't necessarily make sense. But what you can do is put your dough down and you can roll it with the parchment on top. That helps a little bit. I'm also going to do a technique because this, this dough is pretty chilled. I'm going to beat it with the um, rolling pin and that helps to spread the dough out and kind of ha without warming the dough. I'm just going to check and make sure that it's not sticking to the bottom. You don't want to roll all the dough out and then find out it's stuck. This is a thick and chewy gingerbread cookie, so I like to leave these relatively thick. You can certainly roll this a little thinner if you like. But before you start cutting your shapes, Again, make sure that the dough is not stuck to the bottom of the board. You're not going to get those cookies up. If I wanted to do different sizes, I could do that, but just have one size on one cookie sheet and one on the other. This is a parchment lined sheet pan. I'm going to do a little larger cookies. So I've got all the cookies I can get out of the dough on its first roll. I'm going to try to re-roll this again so I can get some more cookies. This is obviously dough that is still quite good, um, but I'm going to try to manipulate it as little as possible um, so that it doesn't, the dough doesn't get tough. So see how I'm just going to push the dough together like so instead of putting it all into a ball and then re-rolling it. So our gingerbread cookies have been baking for, at 350. Uh, they, these cookies take about 8 to 12 minutes and they're really a cookie you don't want to overbake. So when you're pulling them out, what you want to look for is that they get a little bit brown around the edges and that's it. Um, what has them be thick and chewy is that they're just slightly underbaked. Um, so really, depending on how thick you cut them and the size of cutter that you use, that'll vary the time. But that is how you make a chewy gingerbread cookie.